Uh, you see your reaction to the Bears? Yeah, <clears throat> the, the news yesterday was not unexpected. Um, I had a very cordial conversation <clears throat> last night with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, George McCassie called to uh, inform me of their uh, purchase of the property uh, out in uh, Arlington. Um, you know, as I, we said in our statement, uh, the Bears are making a, a business decision with that purchase. We'll see what unfolds there. But we also have to make a business decision here in the city of Chicago. As a mayor, as a Bears fan, I'm going to continue to do what I can to uh, keep them here in the city of Chicago, and I don't think that um, door has closed uh, by any means. But I also need to make sure that, first and foremost, I'm doing what's best for the taxpayers of the city. Um, the Bears cut a deal with former Mayor Richard Daley 20-plus years ago. It's clearly a deal that they don't, uh, they don't believe now works for them. Um, but I got to know what their uh, specific issues are, and they've got to come to the table. Um, I, let me just let me just finish the thought if I can. So they got to come to the table. Um, I uh, saw uh, George McCaskey back in in June and said at that time we're ready, willing, and able. Um, not much happened over the course of the summer. We were supposed to meet yesterday. They canceled the meeting um, uh, uh, for reasons that I said. You know, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We were obviously celebrating the groundbreaking of the Obama Presidential Center, but that doesn't mean that other forms of business can and shouldn't uh, proceed. But the bottom line is they got to come to the table if they're serious about trying to uh, do something for the remainder of uh, their time at, at Soldier Field. But stepping back from the Bears, we've got an incredible asset on our lakefront. And if you think about the, the lakefront from the shed down to McCormick Place, it, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. But I don't think that we are nearly maximizing the opportunity that we can and we should. So we have convened a small team that's going to be looking at a lot of different options, look at best practices uh, from across the country. But it doesn't make sense to me that we are focused just on a stadium that's now lying dormant for big chunks of the year. It should be a year-round destination place like other cities have done, even other uh, cities with um, older stadiums. So I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity uh, there for us, and I'm going to strike the best deal that I can uh, for the taxpayers and hope that the Bears are part of that. But beyond that, we're going to maximize uh, this incredible asset that we have on our lakefront. Bears seem determined to move to Arlington Heights. What realistically can you do to keep them here? Well, I don't know what they're determined to do. I know that they have an option on a uh, property in, in Arlington Heights. It's a huge property, um, and uh, I think it has a, a lot of value. If they're determined to move, um, that's one thing. But I know that they've got a contract with us that runs through 2033, and as I said to uh, McCaskey, I'm not about breaking that contract. And if they want to get out of it early, they're going to have to pay us for it. But, but bottom line is, I want to talk to them. Um, I want to do what we can. Um, I'm a Bears fan, uh, first and foremost. Um, I want them to stay in the name city. Um, and if we can keep them here, we'll keep them here. And we're going to make every effort to do so. But as I said, stepping back from that, we've got to do a deal that makes sense for the taxpayers of the city. What kinds of things are you potentially putting on the table that conduces to the team to stay? Well, I'm not going to bargain here at a press conference. And I'm, I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear me say that. But I think there's a lot of creative things that we can do. Look, the, the stadium is the oldest stadium in the league. Um, it's got, the, I think, the smallest um, seating capacity. It's hard to get to. Um, there's a lot of things that I think we can do to enhance the fan and visitor experience that will obviously enhance uh, the revenues uh, for the Bears. But uh, I'm not going to bargain against myself. They've got to come to the table and put their list of asks um, on the table. I can't do anything about what their issues were from 20 plus years ago. That's not a productive conversation. Um, what would be productive is for them to come to the table now with a set of realistic um, asks. And we will work with them to um, meet them where they are, but do it in a way that obviously is fiscally responsible uh, for the taxpayers of the city. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, speculate about that. As I said, they need to come to the table. There's a lot of different things that I think we can do uh, together creatively and be innovative about maximizing revenues for them and maximizing revenues for the Park District and for the city. Great. Well, 
Mayor, it seems if you read the language of the statements that were put out, and, and I'll ask you to kind of put on your lawyer or litigator hat, mm -hmm. it sounds like it's very carefully worded that maybe this isn't a done deal yet. They said there's a whole lot of work that's still got to be done. Is this really a done deal, or is this a negotiating process? Look, I, I can't speculate, and I'm not going to get into the minds of the folks there. Uh, you know, what I know is um, that's a big, huge uh, piece of property. It's very lucrative. Lots of people bid for it. There's a lot of uses that could maximize um, the revenue and the value of that property that don't have anything to do with the stadium. And you, you know the, the numbers. Um, if you look at the last two NFL stadiums that have been built, SoFi um, out, out, outside of Los Angeles, um, Allegiant Stadium in outside of Las Vegas, those are four or five plus billion dollar ventures um, and privately funded privately funded, I want to emphasize that. So look, you know, they're making what they believe is a very smart business deal by scooping up that property. Um, I don't know what the, their future long-term plans are. I think there's a lot that hasn't been written about that I think is worth exploring. But what I know is the here and now. And what I'm interested in is if they're interested, let's have a conversation. Let's sit down and figure out what we can do to maximize um, the opportunities for revenue for them, but also for the city. <clears throat> but again, stepping back from, the <clears throat> from you know, a season that runs from August to January, let's see what we can do outside of that to maximize revenues. When you look at what happened just this past weekend with the uh, Shamrock Series, as it's now called, lots of enthusiasm. That stadium was full, it was rocking, and our restaurants, our bars, our hotels were full. The venue is a very well sought after venue. We've already got a waiting list for th opportunities for 2022. So I'm very bullish about what the future holds for Soldier Field. I hope the Bears are part of it, but I have a responsibility to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to maximize and, and catalyze that asset. And I think there's more that we can do, and I'm confident that we'll get there. What happens if they actually leave? There's lots of teams that don't play in a city for which they, which they started. By my count, there's 11. If you look at the two New York teams, the two LA teams, um, and there's about six or seven others, um, life goes on. This is a very val valuable asset. I'm going to keep working to keep them here in Chicago. I think that's in everybody's interest if we do it. But if they choose to, to go elsewhere, we're going to maximize that asset, and we're going to bring great entertainment value to the lakefront at Soldier Field. But is it a uh, loss? Mayor, you say you were not surprised, but there was your tweet this summer where you said they should focus on putting a good product out on the field, which doesn't appear that they did. But all so, jokes aside. No, no, I, I might, and, and let me, go ahead. I'm sorry, no, finish your question. But it looks like they, they sort of called your bluff. Well, I, I, I don't think that's accurate. Their issues um, with Soldier Field are longstanding, way before I became mayor. And I heard a whole litany the last time that we had a substantive agreement. I can't change the deal that they struck with Rich Dealy, and I can't change the things that they wanted that they didn't get 20 plus years ago. What I can deal with is the here and the now and the future. And if they want to have a productive conversation, they got to come to the table. Um, we've been, the door's been open all summer long, even before that. They've chosen not to take us up on that opportunity. I reopened um, and invited them again in my conversation last night uh, with George McCaskey. Um, but to be clear, I still want them to be relevant in October. I still want them to beat the Packers. And I still want them to be relevant to the playoff discussion, as every Bears fan does. Um, if you listen to Sports Talk Radio, which I do, people want and are rooting for the Bears. And they want them to be successful. They want this team uh, to flourish. I certainly do as a Bears fan. And I definitely want them to beat the tar out of the Packers. Mr. Dudek, sometimes the last four. Go ahead. When is the next time you have a scheduled talk with the Bears? We do not. So I'm hoping that that gets scheduled soon. Mayor, do you think there's another NFL team that's potentially interested in Soldier Field that the Bears aren't? Last question. Yeah, I, look, I, I don't want to speculate about that, but here's what I know. There's a lot of interest in Soldier Field. Um, we can't accommodate the amount of interest. And so um, certainly, um, if the Bears uh, decide that their future is in Arlington, uh, Arlington Heights, um, uh, and I hope that's not the case, and we're going to continue um, to do everything we can to keep them here in the city. We're not going to lack uh, for suitors um, to make 
um, uh, Soldier Field uh, a permanent home uh, for whether it's a sports team or some other kind of activity. I'm confident in the future of Soldier Field. Look, we've got to step up and do more. Um, really, nothing's been done on a substantial basis since the redesign and reopening of the stadium in, in uh, 2003. It's hard to get to. Um, I'd like to improve the quality of the food um, and the beer selection as a Bears fan. Um, I, but I think there's a lot we can do and we should do to really maximize uh, the experience of people coming uh, to the venue. And I'm confident that we'll do that. And as I said, we're looking at this at the whole campus, from the shed down to McCormick Place. Um, very mindful, and I don't want the Friends of the Parks to take this the wrong way. Very mindful of what the restrictions are, and we're going to live within uh, the limits that have been set by, by a court. But I still think that gives us tremendous flexibility to do something big and bold in the, you know, Daniel Burnham makes no small plans of uh, fashion of Chicago to make that a year-round destination. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.